if you would have asked me three years ago if I thought that I would be where I am now, my answer would be absolutely not. Hey guys, so I just finished a workout. Um, so I haven't told you guys this, but I haven't gone to work out for about three weeks now. Um, my membership ran out with the boot camp that I was doing. <sighs> There's a lot of things that I wish that I knew before going into this weight loss journey. Um, when I first started out, I was a lot more gentle with myself than what I would have been in the past. And what I mean by that is I wasn't as restrictive, but I was very naive. And I even look back and I watch some of my old YouTube videos and I don't agree with the things that I was saying. I put so much energy into thinking that someone was gonna do it for me still. Like I needed someone to go to the gym with me. I needed somebody to be eating healthy with me. I needed somebody to hold me accountable and slap the freaking pizza out of my hand when I was about to eat it, you know? But I learned very quickly that if you go into this with that mindset, then you're just looking for excuses not to do it. For a woman to post on the internet how much she weighs, like the actual number, is terrifying. And so not only did I post how much that I weighed, but I showed actual photos of my body. Things that I didn't even want current partners at the time to see. I am not going to get emotional right now. Um, it's just really emotional to talk about. <laughs> so basically this is me coming out and saying that it wasn't that I never wanted to be hugged. I felt that people would be grossed out by hugging me and I didn't want to make people uncomfortable by touching my fat and um, it was just something that I was very self-conscious about and so I put a lot of walls up uh, regarding that. <sighs> Sorry. If you're someone who's dealing with depression, I feel for you and I have totally been there before. My biggest piece of advice to you is again not to focus on the big picture don't focus on all the things that you should be doing don't focus on all the times that you failed in the past because if you're looking in the rearview mirror how are you going to see what's in front of you i focused on one thing at a time i didn't let myself get tripped up over the number on the scale like if the scale didn't move I wasn't like, oh, why am I doing this? It's for nothing. No, the reason that I was doing it, even if I wasn't seeing results on the scale, was because I knew that my health was at stake. I knew that my self-confidence was at stake. And when I say self-confidence, I don't mean, I don't mean like I've lost weight and I look better, so now I'm more confident. What I mean is I was able to make these changes. I said that I was gonna do something that I had been saying my entire, oh my God, I'm gonna tear up. <laughs> I had finally done something that I said that I was gonna do my entire life. And that feeling is like, it's irreplaceable, it really is being able to follow through with something that was really hard for you to do your entire life. The number one question that I get asked is if I have any loose skin and if it's worth it. And I get so many messages from people telling me that they want to lose weight, they're tired of feeling the way that they feel, but they don't want to lose weight because they're scared of what their body is going to look like afterwards. I do have loose skin and I haven't been quiet about it. If you're on my Instagram or my YouTube channel, I've posted videos. I'm not scared of it because I want people to see it. It is real. It is a real part of life and it's a real part of this journey. So I think that it's really important to 
air out what shames people because the best way to get rid of shame is to air it out and to put it out there because if you're saying hey this is me i'm okay with it then it really does not matter what anybody else thinks nobody is stuck you always have the choice to turn off the autopilot and take your life in the direction that you want. So ultimately, like I say at the end of every video, you hold the power in your hands to make any changes in your life that you wanna make.